Okay, so on this next one, we're going to get into the idea of how to place images. So the way that InDesign places images is a little bit different. So the first thing that we're going to do is instead of using the rectangle tool, we're going to use the rectangular frame. Now, you could use the rectangle tool, same thing. Just by default, there is not a line around here, which makes this easier. So I'm going to draw a box. And in order to get an image inside of this box, I'm going to go File, Place, or Command-D. And we are going to find, oh, I should have had this prepared. We're going to go ahead and find this image. And really, the image doesn't necessarily matter. Um, but we are going to grab one that's in here. In class week two, tutorials. There we go, links. OK. So now I've loaded in my image. Now what you'll notice is if I look at the bounds of this image, it actually doesn't go all the way to the edges. Okay, that's because the image is not in proportion in the, in the box that I drew. So let's see how to resize the image inside of this box. You would think you grab the selection tool and I grab the box and I make it bigger. No, but that's not what it does. So what InDesign does is there's a frame, right? There's a frame that I can actually use to crop this image which I love. So you can see the image is actually not moving. All it's moving is the frame itself. Okay. So if I have this bigger, right, and here's my image and I want to move my image around, there's two ways that you can do it. The little circle that's here gives you the hand tool, which allows me to click and hold and move this image inside of this. Okay. Right. So if I drag it outside of there, Okay, so I'm moving the image, but you can see my frame is staying in the same place. I could also select the white arrow tool, click on the image, and move the image that way. Either way, it works the same. When you click the, the, arrow, the circle here, it's actually grabbing the white arrow tool temporarily um, for you to move it. Okay, so you can also move it by selecting any one of these functions that are here, right? So I want it to be 50%. Ooh, don't s make sure this is linked, right? So we don't do it not proportionally. So you can kind of change it that way. So let's say that's the size of the image that you want, but your frame is really huge, right? I could manually do it. Or again, I could double click on this right corner and there we go, right? So now it sized it directly to this image. Let's say we have this that's here and we want to fill this frame completely with the image. There's some fitting options that are up here, which we'll go into more detail. But let's say this first one says fill frame proportionally. There it goes. So now part of this image is obscured because my box and, and frame are not right. So if I want to do what's kind of happening over here on the left hand side, right, I'm just going to make my box a little smaller. And the idea is for you to match this image as best as possible, something like that. I'm just going to duplicate it and drag it over by holding down Option and Shift together. And now I just want to drag the image over to the right hand side. Um, we're going to drag down. And again, I just want you to get used to panning this image over. That's it. And in this one, this last one, right, Option Shift again to drag. I'm going to make my image a lot smaller in this frame. And I want to fill this frame with black. So what we're going to do is use the um, selection tool, select on the outside of it, right? Um, bring up your swatches, fill with black. Okay. So that's basically it. So we're using the white arrow tool or um, clicking on that to move this around um, in that space. And so you have to understand with this, with InDesign, it's, there's a frame and then the picture moves within the frame. If I want to take, so let's say we double click on the bottom here and I like that and I just want to make this whole thing bigger. The only way to do that is either go here, right? It makes the whole thing bigger or the shortcut command and shift will also make it bigger. Right, which is a big, which is a big thing. I use that shortcut, I think, more than anything else um, to make those bigger. 